If you Google it, horses can actually output about 15 horsepower, which seems absurd on the long face of it. But horsepower really gained steam in the early 1780s when a guy named James Watt was trying to market his new and improved steam engine. And his steam engine was immediately twice as efficient as the previously best steam engine, the Newcomen steam engine. And pretty soon, with more development, it was five times as efficient as the Newcomen. And in order to push more sales of his new steam engine, Watt came up with an interesting marketing scheme. What he would do is he would accept payment in the form of one third of the coal that was saved by switching to his steam engine from the Newcomen. But that wasn't an option for people who were using horses to do their work. So in order to do something similar, he needed a way to compare a horse's work to the work of his steam engine. So he talked to people with horse mills and found that over the course of a 10 hour workday, a horse could make it around a 24 foot diameter mill wheel two and a half times a minute using an assumed 180 pound force. But that figure of a horse having 15 horsepower is from a 1933 paper that looked at the maximum output of, of horse's power. And it looked at data from a horse pulling competition at the 1925 Iowa State Fair. A big part of that discrepancy is that horse pulling competitions are over in seconds. I'll show you one. So this horse pull is only about eight seconds and there's a lot of weight on there and those horses are huffing and puffing and the guys are like huh, huh. <laughs> But Watt's calculations were based on the sustained output of a horse over the course of a day. Later in that same paper they say that in order to maintain its health and vigor a draft horse should pull about 10% of its body weight at a rate of two and a half to three miles an hour for a 10 hour working day. That's actually roughly comparable to just one horsepower, so it's really not that far off. Another interesting thing is that about a hundred years after James Watt developed his steam engine and horsepower, the SI unit for power, the Watt, was named after him. 